Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode, we're gonna continue working on the Jeep Wrangler here. Go ahead and get some more of this front off, see any more damage that we can find. I know it's leaking transmission fluid. Uh, as soon as I got it to crank, and as soon as it did, I mean, it's pouring transmission fluid out the, it looks like the transmission cooler. So that's the first thing that we're gonna to get to. So without any further ado, let's get to work. I think the oil cooler is actually okay. These lines right here, these pressure fittings, they have these little clips on them right there. And by the way, you don't need the special dodge tool to take that off. A small flat head will take them off just fine. I don't need to buy the crap. So anyways, there they are. One, these little plastic things you just pull off right here. First, one there. The other one's right there. The white one, it kind of slid back a little bit. But you get the picture. You just slide those back, you pull the clip up, boom, they pull right off. Had a little bit of transmission leakage down here. It's all good. Clean that up some. So, I do believe the, the cooler itself is good though, and it's the only one that doesn't look bent. Try to do is go ahead and get this old fan off and overflow tank and go ahead and swap it over to the brand new radiator that we got. All right, so we got the fan on there. It was a little twisted, but I was able to get it under these clips on the side and then put the two little bolts back in. And I think it'll rework the plastic shroud here to form back to how it was. So the only piece on here that is even broke is right there, the plastic edging of the shroud of the fan has a crack in it. Dude, that's, that is not a big deal. The fan still moves freely. Looks like it does what it needs to do. I think we'll roll with that one. All right. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get, take this off the old AC condenser because I need the bolts to go ahead and put it in the new radiator so we don't lose them. But this one's obviously not gonna get used. It is garbage.
I think we got this thing unbolted for the fenders. We're gonna go ahead and remove them and see what's underneath and see what those aprons look like. This apron doesn't look near as bad as the other one. It's still gonna need to get painted though. And I need to see if that crease is the same. There's a crease here. Let's see if it looks like that on the other side. All right, so I think this is good news. So this apron, there's a little Allen head right here that's on top and it definitely got bent in. So I think, obviously the impact was right here on the bumper itself is where this thing happened. I think it happened at like an intersection or something like that. Like someone went through a red light or something like that. So I think once we unbolt this to the frame and all that, I think this apron is gonna be able to be pulled back out the same way it got pushed in. So I'll probably pull it from here. And probably that's probably what we'll do. We'll just go from there. It doesn't look, it's not creased anywhere else. Let me show you, which is really awesome. So these are factory creases right here. This, the other side has the exact same thing. Other than that, like everything looks beautiful right through here. Hey, there's the antenna wire. Um, right here, there's no hard creases either. So it's just bent for point of impact right here on the bumper. So this thing has been pushed in. So I think if we unbolt this, once the frame's gone, we'll be able to bend this back out relatively easy. I mean, it's an aluminum apron. Maybe it's steel, I don't know, let's test it. I got a magnet. Steel. So, well there you go. It's not gonna be that bad. It's hollow. Easy peasy. So the cow looks really good other than the dent. Right there. And that happened from the skyjack when whoever lifted up the hood. So I'll just put a little Bondo in there or a little glazing putty and then just sand it, paint it, prime it, or print it, paint it. Whatever. You got it. I want to get my painting skills down. Hey, I wonder if that's the same color as the Chevy. Probably not. I'll get a quart of it mixed. Hey guys, next morning here. Go ahead and get this lift off of here because there's some rust that's down in here. Let's see if I can show you guys. Like these little bolts and stuff right here and here. That side's missing one. I've actually got this piece. I found it in the back, but I need to go get some stainless steel bolts. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that off and then Go to Lowe's, get me some bolts, and go from there. So 
we're gonna go pick up some more bolts, washers, junk like that. These things are trash. And I gotta go over here and find the other clip to it. And we'll go from there. All right, so I put some WD-40. I pretty much just soaked this thing. And it functions fine. I thought there was gonna be some parts I need to paint. But uh, right in here where this metal's been touching each other is kinda a little bit of rust, but whatever. I just soaked it, soaked it with WD. Wiped it down, so it functions. Right there is the, I've kind of pieced it back together, the radiator and the core support here. And there's still, I was about to chuck this thing in the trash because I already ordered the new one. But my goodness, I flip it over and there's sensors still on here. I was like, oh crap. Maybe the hood support. So I'm just gonna keep that till the new one comes for sure. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop off these because these washers, I'm, I'm assuming these washers and hardware came with this kit and they're garbage, man. They're, they're rusted off the hill. So I'm gonna pop those out and get some washers for those as well. All right, so I just popped out one of these. I think it's garbage. So I don't wanna take them both out yet because the whole hood will come off. <laughs> Cause that actually attaches to the hinges. So I'm gonna go just take this one when I go to the store here in a minute. So, I probably end up taking the hood off anyway because I screwed it up. I can't believe that. Well, there was no real way to, there's no way to latch it when I was bringing it home. And I put a ratchet strap over top of the hood and I'm assuming probably this, I think the radiator cap did it too. It dented the hood just a little bit, pushed it. It pushed it up in a few places. You can see it on the, actually, let's take this down. I'll show you. Ah, shoot. All right. I want this sit right there, let's see. See, you can see them on this. You can kind of see one right there. It creased it here, here. I really don't think this hood was damaged until I got a hold of it. Yeah, it looks like just those two places that it damaged. But I guess I'm gonna have to tap those out and then respray the whole hood. All right guys, I got a whole bunch of stainless steel hardware for this and some other stuff, so put this stuff on. All right, these are the Basically, on these Skyjack lifts, you'll undo, jeez, you'll undo the top of these right here. This goes, basically, it'll be sticking up. You just unscrew this, the whole jack, you just gotta pick it up. It's kinda heavy, so, make do. All right, so we're gonna do bolt here. Threads are kind of jacked up, so we're just gonna straighten them back out. Ah, there they go. Maybe they just had some junk on them, man, because they were not threading on it at all. There we go. Let's see.
They look pretty good. I have to say so myself. Let's see if we can get these old ones off. All right. Let's see if I can get this old one out here without stripping this thing. These things are bad, man. Matter of fact. Ugh, holy crap. This one was a little stripped out. Why would they send you a kit that's covered in rust? And it's just all crappy. I don't get it. Look at this, man. It's trash. That's what you get when you buy cheap stuff. I'm gonna spray WD-40 on this thing. It actually comes really clean. Little surface rust. See, these things aren't rusting. It's the stupid bolt. All right, let's put this other one in there. So, new one, old one. So now we gotta take off. See, it doesn't have studs in it. Oh, maybe it does, it's in the bag. I see the little baggie right there, okay. That would scare me with these, not having the studs like this one. So we need to take off this, AKA the tooth thingy, and some of the little clips and stuff on this one over here. And let's move them over there. Hang on. 
right? Too large hole, then the tightener here. Or whatever that thing is. Okay. Where's the bolt? Bolt. It's gonna slide into that. Is there anything else I'm missing? One of those. These. Oh, that were on this are gone. So I'm probably gonna to go to Jeep and get a diagram and find out which of the ones that are left that I'm missing and go ahead and order those. But for the most part, it's here. Not too shabby. Good riddance to this thing. So check out the brand new Jeep shirts you got. <laughs> awesome. So we're gonna put the condenser and the transmission cool back on the radiator. Let's do this. This thing's coming along really nicely. New radiator using the old fan, new condenser. This is the original transmission cooler on the outside. We got new lines right here coming because those were that's why it was leaking everywhere. Is one of those is snapped in half right there. The one on the back side you can't see. But it's coming along. That's a big chunk of this thing running correctly. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. There's a lot more to come on this thing. Kind of taking my time with it, but let me know how I'm doing. Till next time.